the NASDAQ 100 and the X high low is close for the 5 EMA in blue to cross above the 10 EMA in red. 5 EMA 88.58 red 88.63 it's pennies away and the rock 12 is at negative 1.16 and that's in the zone plus or minus five from zero for a buy signal maybe if the blue can get above the red and it coincides with plus or minus five on the rock 12 if it does i wouldn't pay too much credence to it unless you want to do a short-term trade because the short-term KST is above its signal line pointed up but below zero it's at negative 8.05 the intermediate term KST is under zero well under its signal line and the long-term KST finally woke up from just about going sideways had a little upwards trajectory but now is pointed down but still above its signal line a little bit and the New York high low the blue and red and gold are just sailing away to the upside the blue above the red the red above the gold and just pointed straight up and it had that buy signal back here on June 6th. That's when everything turned around, really, after those negative divergences in the NYA top caller chart changed direction to the upside. That was it. And the short term KST went above its signal line, is above zero, doing pretty good and the intermediate term KST and long term KST have each other in check so I don't see much movement for the New York composite maybe a little bit of upside but the intermediate term and long term are countering each other here and the NASDAQ composite high low chart slipped by me here that there was a possible buy signal as the blue went above the red and the red even went above the gold let's zoom in on this one if we can and you can see up there I have the cursor highlighted on the blue red and gold and down here on the rock is where it's pointed the blue went above the red on July 12th at about 1.94 negative so that's a buy signal so to have the NASDAQ composite doing better than the NASDAQ 100 tells us there's some speculation going on in the composite because no doubt there's certainly some garbage in there and I have been seeing some stocks that are way on the bottom and just about going out of business you would think having big moves to the upside we'll go see if we can find some of those after this but there it is that's a buy signal and again take it with a grain of salt for a short term move the short term KST did go above its signal line it is above zero but the intermediate term and long term look like the NASDAQ 100 except for the fact that the intermediate term is still above zero over here I don't remember over there in the NASDAQ 100 but they're both above zero for now and countering each other so yeah maybe a short term move on some of those bottom fishing excursions first up in the bottom fishing excursion in FINRA INFN it's a penny stock but you can see it came off a of zero pretty hard actually got up into the cloud and had a gap down here that's to be expected in a penny stock but that was a pretty good move there and for good reason it's going down here's the cash flow 18 million negative then I go over to the balance sheet and just quickly look at their long-term debt, 706 million 
down there and then the market capitalization of 1.06 billion so they're just about as much long-term debt as their market cap so that's an ugly one there and I'm just choosing the ones that were wave up C printed some bars ago so then it printed the D wave up wave one and the conversion line at one dollar and two cents is well above the Ichimoku baseline and it's well into the penny stock realm there but it's getting love and I'm seeing a lot of these and all of these stocks here let's just pick one and it doesn't have to be a penny stock look at ABV here ABBV it's on D wave up wave zero which means it really hit the skids and buyers came in gave it some love and it's okay the zigzag is pointed up and it is above the baseline meaning the conversion line above the baseline here fairly by a few pennies 10 cents what 15 cents I don't know close wow what happened to Dr. Pepper and Keurig look at that came off the D wave up wave C pretty strong and then it's going sideways recently but that's speculation which it within the garbage of the Nasdaq composite and it's hard to think of Keurig Dr. Pepper's garbage but there it is over there in the garbage pit oh yeah I remember this one Nova Gold Resources I thought that someone bought them out or something but they have really hit the skids and they're getting some speculative love here look at the conversion line is miles below the baseline so I'm seeing a lot of this here see and printing the one here's one from last week when I ran that scan it printed the one it actually has pretty good fundamentals we won't go there but it has free cash flow it's not too in debt long term versus its market cap and yeah a lot of negatives but at least there's some free cash flow and not too much debt so that could be institutional buying here let's go look at the volume and no the volume is absolutely atrocious there's just a few speculators that have been getting into this 7,013 on that big day off of the sea maybe back here 18,000 I don't know that's usually not institutional when it looks like that they go steady up there might be just increasing volume stepping up sort of stealthily to hide it from everybody so this is just pure speculation on this anyway I went off on a tangent there and don't expect me to do that too often I just thought I'd do it now because the composite is doing a heck of a lot better than the 100 so that's what it is there's some serious speculation going on that we're nearing the light at the end of the tunnel is getting bigger and bigger each day